hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x is equals to 16 and we solve this problem for all the values of x so first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root so uh, i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so here the very first thing we are going to do is first you see that 4 to the power of x is a common term uh, so when we take common 4 to the power of x from here we get the remaining values are 1 plus 1 is equals to this is our 16 and uh, further in the next step we have this is 4 to the power of x into 1 plus 1 becomes 2 is equals to 16 and here uh, you see that uh, both of these terms are divisible by 2 so that we divide both of the sides by 2 so when we divide both of the sides by 2 it will be written as in this form so we have that this is 4 to the power of x into 2 divided by 2 is equals to 16 divided by 2. So here we need little bit simplifications and you get this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we get 4 to the power of x is equals to this is 2 times 8 becomes 16 and we get here 8 only. Uh, so uh, here further in the next step in order to find the values of x we need to write the base of this term and 8 into the prime factors form. We know that the prime factors of 4 are 2 square and the prime factors of 8 are 2 cubed. So here we replace these two values on both of the sides and uh, you see that this is 4 and we write 4 as 2 square and its whole power is x equals to this is 8. And we replace this 8 as 2 cubed. So further in the next step we use here the nice algebra uh, the nice exponential formula you know about that if we have a to the power of m to the power of n is equals to if you have exponent to the exponent so these two exponents are multiplied by each other and we get here a to the power of m multiplied by n. Uh, so in the left hand side we use uh, this nice exponential line after that we use another exponential line you know that if we have a to the power of m is equals to a to the power of n this implies that if bases on both of the sides are same then we equate its exponents so here we get m is equals to n now first we use this exponential line into the left hand side and after that we use this rule so uh, after applying this we need to multiply these two exponents and it will become here 2 to the power of 2x is equals to 2 to the power of 3. Now you see here the bases on both of the sides are same so we equate its exponents according to this rule. Uh, so we have this is 2x is equal to 3. And now for the values of x we need to remove this 2 from left hand side for this we divide both of the sides by 2. So when we divide both of the sides by 2 it will become 2x divided by 2 and 3 divided by 2. This 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we get our x is equals to 3 divided by 2. So this is the value of x which we get here uh, and Further in the next step, we need to verify that is this value of x be the solution or is this value of x be the extraneous root. So for verification of the values, we uh, need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x is equal to 16. This is our given question statement and now before substituting the values of x we write our question into the simplified form and you see the you see here uh, 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x becomes 2 times of 4 to the power of x is equals to 16 and when we divide both of the sides by 2 it will becomes 4 to the power of x is equals to 2 8 the 16 so we get 4 to the power of x is equals to 8 and further in the next step uh, we uh, we just 
substitute the value of x into the left hand side and the value of x is 3 over 2 when we substitute it here it will becomes 4 to the power of 3 over 2 is equals to 8 and here we write uh, our 4 as into the form of 2 square and its whole power is 3 over 2 and we check that is this equals to 8 or not on both of these cases okay so here we apply the exponential and you see that this 2 and this 2 are gone and we get 2 to the power of 3 is equals to 8 or not and here you clearly see that 2 cubed equals to 8 equals to 8. So this shows that left hand side is equals to right hand side or finally we conclude about that the value of x is equals to 3 over 2 is satisfied over this given question statement. Uh, so here we conclude about that, that the solution set of the given question is uh, x is equals to 3 divided by 2. So this is the only one solution of the given question and this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.